Everything you're seeing right now is already in the past. Every sound you hear is delayed. Your brain doesn't record reality, it reconstructs it. And in that reconstruction, it lies. Welcome to the science of thinking where we explore how your mind shapes, edits, and sometimes distorts the world around you. In this first lesson, we'll uncover how your brain builds the illusion of a stable, reliable world and why that illusion is the only thing keeping you sane. We like to imagine our senses as cameras capturing truth, but that's not how the brain works. It doesn't show you reality. It shows you something that is good enough to survive. Here's what really happens. Light bounces off the world, enters your eyes, and triggers electrical signals that travel to your brain. The process takes time, about 80 milliseconds, but you never feel the delay. Instead, your brain predicts what is about to happen and fills in the blanks before the data even arrives. This is called the predictive brain model. Your brain isn't a passive observer, it's a guesser. It constantly forecasts what the world will do, compares those forecasts with incoming data, and quietly edits the result. What you experience as reality is really a simulation, updated in real time to stay believable. Most of the time, this system works flawlessly. But when the predictions fail, you glimpse the illusion. That's what an optical illusion really is, a bug in the simulation. Take the molar liar illusion, two identical lines with arrows on the ends. One looks longer than the other, even when you measure them. Your brain assumes the arrows represent perspective, so it adjusts the size automatically. You can know it's wrong, yet still see it that way. Or consider your blind spot, the tiny hole in your vision where the optic nerve connects to the eye. You should see a gap, but you don't because your brain paints over it using nearby detail. Your mind is photoshopping reality in real time. Even your experience of time is edited. Because light and sound travel at different speeds, your brain synchronizes them so they feel simultaneous. The moment you call now is actually a stitched together average of the immediate past, a highlight reel, not a live stream. Your brain lies to you constantly, but not to harm you. It lies to protect you. Evolution didn't favor accuracy. It favored quick decisions. Imagine our ancestors hearing a rustle in the grass, a brain that guessed predator and ran away survived more often than one that waited to double check. Your brain still carries that bias. Fast beats precise. That's why you jump at shadows, mishear words, and see faces in clouds. Your brain would rather invent meaning than face uncertainty. It's a survival trade-off. You get safety, but you lose objectivity. This same predictive wiring explains why you can't fully trust your memories. When you recall something, your brain doesn't replay a recording. It rebuilds the scene using fragments, emotions, context, expectation, and then saves the new version. Each time you remember, you slightly rewrite the past. It's also why perception changes with emotion. When you're anxious, your brain predicts danger. So neutral faces look hostile, harmless noises sound threatening. When you're calm or happy, the same input feels safe. The world doesn't change, your predictions do. Neuroscientist Anil Seth calls this controlled hallucination. That's not a metaphor. Your brain is literally hallucinating a stable world and using sensory input to keep the hallucination on track. As long as its guesses match what's out there, you experience coherence. When they don't, you see an illusion or worse, confusion. This idea isn't just poetic, it's measurable. Studies show that 80% of the connections flowing into your visual cortex come from inside your brain, not from your eyes. In other words, most of what you see originates from prediction, not perception. Reality is just the small percentage of data that manages to correct the hallucination. So what can you do with this knowledge? How do you think clearly in a world built on mental shortcuts? First, slow down. When something feels certain, take a breath, Ask, is this what's really happening or what my brain expects? That pause gives you a gap between perception and belief. Second, test your senses. Explore optical illusions, ambiguous sounds, or even magic tricks. They aren't gimmicks. They're demonstrations of how easily the mind bends reality. Each one reminds you that confidence and accuracy are not the same thing. Third, seek novelty. Routine locks the brain into predictive autopilot. New experiences, travel, art, learning, even a new walking route, force your brain to update its model. That's why time feels slower when life is new and faster when it's repetitive. Novelty wakes up perception. 
Finally, embrace humility. Recognize that being human means living inside a constantly updated guess. You'll all never see the world exactly as it is, but you can see it more clearly when you know your filters exist. Your brain isn't a mirror reflecting reality. It's a storyteller crafting one. It edits, smooths, and colors your world until it feels coherent enough to inhabit. That story is what you call consciousness, vivid, convincing, but always a few steps behind the truth. In this first lesson, we've seen how your brain lies, not out of malice, but necessity. It's built to make a chaotic universe feel stable. But if your mind can rewrite what you see, what else can it rewrite? In the next lesson of the science of thinking, we'll explore the illusion of free will. You'll discover how your brain begins preparing your actions seconds before you consciously decide, and what that means for the idea of choice itself. Stay curious, because the next illusion isn't about what you see. It's about who's really in control.